Okay, what I have here is my ProBook 6005B. And this has a classic issue with uh, CPU thermal paste that's dried out. The computer overheats. And it likes to freeze, lock up, not respond. That's common with this model. I've done a few of these already and I just wanted to um, show how to change a the thermal paste without disassembling the entire laptop. Because that takes a while. So, first thing, well, so the few things you're going to need. You're going to need some thermal paste. You're going to need a Phillips screwdriver. You're going to need some kind of a plastic thing that has a sharp edge on it. You're going to need uh, some paper. I'm going to use some anti-static plastic just because I have it around. Um, what you're going to want to do is flip this guy over. And there's three screws. Let me point the camera to the right spot here. Three screws that have a little keyboard logo. We're just going to back those off all the way. One. The other one is right here. There. There we go. The third one's right over here. Now, since those are backed off, it's never too late, but we're going to remove the battery. Huh. Make sure there's no power. We don't want an accident here. Now, with those th three screws gone, what we're going to have to do is look for these little tabs right here. The best way i found to uh, push them is you just push down this key and then you, you push it down like that. There's four of them. There's one here. Three, four. Now you can just flip up the keyboard. Oh. Oh, and don't do what I just did. Oh. Ah. Uh, who uses the F7 anyways? There we go. Don't do that. This is what you don't do. You don't do what I just did. So, what we need to do is, um, lift up the keyboard oh yeah I have that flat piece of plastic now I can break off more keys hmm. this is usually easier to get off than that it usually just pops right off so I'm gonna do it the the wrong way here and that should just come right off why is that not just coming off I probably screwed up with the screws yeah I did oh I took off the one that had the memory logo on it that's a memory logo and that's a keyboard logo See, that's the memory logo, and that's the keyboard logo. From a distance, they look like the same, but they're not. There, now the keyboard just completely fell off. There, it just fell off. That's what it's supposed to do. Now, I'm just going to flip this over. And the CPU is right there. So with the Phillips screwdriver, we're just going to back them all off here. Just get it off. Mine overheats so easily. Mine has that silly i7 uh, six twenty in it. And it overheats like mad. So what we're gonna do is lift this guy up just enough that we can get to that little turn thingy majigger there so I lied when I said you just need a Phillips screwdriver so 
so uh, that one might do it. Now what we're going to do is lift this guy up. And then we're just going to turn it counterclockwise here. Ah, I'm dropping the phone. So we want to turn it uh, about 180 degrees counterclockwise and that should release the CPU. And you can tell the thermal paste is absolutely dry. That it's bone dry. It's like yucky clay. So now what we're gonna do is on that we have to get the heat sink off the um, off the bottom of that uh, heat sink. So. What we're going to do that's where we need the CD and the little plastic stuff. So the plastic bit is to catch the pieces we scrape off. So we're going to put that there like so. And then now we get the CD here and we scrape it off the bottom of the um, um, scrape it off the bottom of the heat sink and it can get kind of tricky because I need three hands to do this so I'm gonna do this off camera um, and then to get this dry gunk off what I found that works really well is uh, WD-40 that stuff is absolutely magical and so if you have a like this stuff is dry it's like clay It'll be really hard to get off. You'll need like a um, WD-40, maybe an old toothbrush, and a paper towel. And it should clean up nicely. So I'm going to scrape that gunk off right here real quick off camera. And I'll show you what I got. So this is what I got. The edge here is... Um, has a bunch of the residue and these are the pieces that scraped off. This is completely dried out crap and um, I don't have to worry too much about the um, the heat sink getting off the exact or the rest of it. You don't have to. You just get like 99% of it off. If you want to be um, a perfectionist and use a cloth and wipe it off you can. I just want to get the bulk of the old stuff off. And I still have to do the CPU. So I'll pause it real quick. Oh, look at how pretty that thing is. That's what looks like all cleaned up, all reflective and absolutely perfect if it'll focus there. So yeah, that's what it looks like all cleaned up. And then they have a little protective sticker thingy here that I guess we can put back on. But this is the um i7-620M so much old this is like retro hardware it's a little Linux box so it doesn't require good hardware but the, the 4 gigs of RAM it has in it is a bit weak so, but yeah, you can you could do it without removing everything, but it does make it much easier if you do remove everything. But I don't like doing all that work for a work computer. My personal one, sure, I'll tear that thing apart, gut it. 
but this thing, nah, I won't put the time into it. And, um, so, but there's other issues that come across that with these work computers, because we got a bunch of them um, at work. We have like 20 of them or something. And um, the biggest problem I see with them is they're all, they all have an attitude. Like each one is different than the rest. One of them will work great for everything. And then it just has issues printing. Everyone else ha does not have problems printing, but it might have problems playing audio. And so every single one of them has like its own little personality, its own little whatever. And I put that in there. I did not put the thermal paste on there. This is some, so I uh, dropped the phone. So this is the, um, uh, my wife's gonna kill me. This is her stove. So, dig in there and get a bunch so with these you know of course you don't want to get too much on any CPU you don't want to get too much on there and this thing is easy to get too much on it's messy gosh and since this is covered I'm gonna have to uh, whoopsie I'm gonna have to apply this with two hands because I'm applying it wrong so let me pause it real quick So, I applied the thermal paste, probably way too much, I don't care. I still have to lock down the CPU, and then put the heatsink back on. There we go, locked it down. Now I have to apply this, get this thing to fit. Come on you, get. Now the, the heat sink um, is a pill because it's when you lift it up it rotates and then when you put it back down it doesn't want to go back down because it popped out of the, the, the fan. So now I'm going to have to uh, monkey with it to get it to seat properly. Ah, there we go. I got it. Oh, I had the wrong bit on my screwdriver too. Start with number one then. Gosh, I have to do it the right way, huh? Okay, I can flip this guy over here, and then what's cool about this is you just do it in reverse. I push down the F1, I click that back up in place. Here's my other hand, so maybe you guys can see a little bit better. And okay, so same thing. You push it in. You push it in. Now that's all done. Now he's got to tighten up the screws. The keyboard ones, not the memory ones. Should be a hint, huh? Do not use. Yeah. 
イエーイ Ubuntu、oh yes So far, she's working. She's working pretty well. It hasn't crashed yet. It hasn't froze. No, no black smoke. So everything's happy. So yay, it's working. My computer's up. It's on. It hasn't died. Hasn't crashed. So and my load indicator thingies there are barely working. And usually they're halfway because the CPU is throttling so hard. So um. Yeah, so I think this is a success.、Um, so, yeah. If you want me to go into detail, I have,、um, I have a few more I can do. I have a couple other models I can do.、Um, so, I wanted to do this one because this one was locking up four to five times a day on me at work. So, I think this is a, a success, and thank you.